Well, real life, here we go. Right? All right. <laughs> Ready? Yep. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Hey, yeah. My name is Cherie Spencer. And I'm Kristen Fung. And together we, we are K-Funk and Lady Ree. <laughs> and today we are at Jane Subway Station. Whatever you want to do, anything baby, it's all right with me. I think it happened when I first moved to Toronto three years ago and I met Cherie at a gospel music workshop mm -hmm. and we were talking about how we wanted to play in the subways and we knew that there were auditions but that we would have to wait three years to do them. Yeah. So three years have gone by, we did the audition in August, we got in yeah. and now we're here. Honestly we feel Toronto is giving us a lot of love and support and for us as professional musicians uh, in our, in our day-to-day -day life this adds another level of us being able to interact with the public and with people. So we also are enjoying it. It's a very reciprocal uh, kind of respect and relationship that we're, we're seeing happen. <laughs> Thank you. I've been playing music since I was five. My first instrument was the piano and I've been singing since I was a kid like you. Mm -hmm. And um, I studied classical voice when I was in university and I minored in jazz piano and we're both totally into musical theater mm -hmm. and have been in various productions around town with that. So we're both freelance musician performing artists who do a whole bunch of things for, for work. I'm 27. I'm ageless. <laughs> I'm ageless. She's ageless. I'm, as, I'm young at heart. <laughs> That's my, it's my little secret. I'm not going to say it on TV. <laughs> Sheree and I practice every week the different songs that we're going to play in the subway. So when we play the subway, we treat it like a show. And we have a set list. We have a bunch of favorite songs that we do that the public loves. And we play everything from Elvis Presley to Pharrell Williams to Justin Bieber to Jill Scott, I'm, uh, Al Green, Marvin Gaye. We just wanted a place where we could play acoustic soul. We call it acoustic soul because, well, all music is soulful, but uh, the music that we play is really meant to touch people's hearts and to bring them into a different mind space as they go about commuting on their day. Thank you. That's okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've been doing this since October mm -hmm. of 2015. Yep. And mm -hmm. it's been weird and wonderful and surprising in so many different ways. Yep. Like we have so many different stories of things that have happened to us. There is, uh, I think, even getting to meet some of the other musicians has been a nice support system for us and yeah. meeting um, people that are inviting us to do events throughout the city as well because of it. Yeah, we got hired by Tropicana yeah. to do an event for them. And that was in October, that was, or November. Yeah. So as soon as we started, that was maybe a month and a half after. And we've had people, you know, approach us and ask us to play at their weddings. Yep. Yeah. And we've had people from, like, various companies who are passing by in the subway on their way to work drop their business card and ask if they can work with us or hire us for their events. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I remember um, that guy at Finch Station. Yes. He was like, I've been coming to this station for a hundred years and you were the best thing the station has ever seen. You were a breath of fresh air. Thank you. The money is important because we're both freelance musicians, but I must say our initial motivation in doing this was not really about the money. It was more about, look, we're too multicultural women who showcase the diversity of the population of Toronto and we have an audience of 1.5 million people per day that we can play to so we wanted to do that yes, I 